the next thing we'll talk about CCNA security contents. So mostly as per the Cisco syllabus, these are the different sections what Cisco offers. You can either check the Cisco website or visit our website for, for more details on this. Like the fundamentals of network security, the first section uh, mainly focuses on understanding some of the basic network security concepts and also understanding the common security threats and then what are the possible solutions uh, you need to or, or the best practices you need to use to prevent those kind of uh, typical threats or, or some vulnerabilities. And also you learn some basic network terminal network security terminologies like what is thread asset and the classifications and more details on that. And then secure access majorly deals with how we can access the devices remotely uh, by a secure way using AAA, authenticating the users or authenticating authorization and accounting, and also how we can allow the users who are bringing their own devices to securely connect to the network and access the network resources without sending any kind of malicious traffic. Now the next section is like VPNs. Uh, VPN stands for Virtual Private Networks. It allows you to connect uh, your sites over any untrusted network like over the internet, virtually private networks. So how we can allow the multiple sites to connect between them by using some LAN to LAN VPNs or side to side VPNs. And how we can allow the user who is sitting in a home, maybe a remote user, is trying to access the resources in my company network, how we can allow that user to securely connect over internet by using some SSL VPNs. And then the next concept like securing the routing, routers and switches uh, majorly deals with understanding the different threats in the LAN and how we can overcome, uh, what are the security features we'll implement on the switches to prevent those kind of, um, some kind of attacks or, or some vulnerabilities in the network. And then we connect the router and how we can securely manage the router remotely and understanding some different types of threats on the routers like routing protocol spoofings or it can be uh, control plane attacks on the router. I will try to understand them and we'll see what are the security implementations we do on the routers to prevent those kind of attacks. Now the next section there is something called firewall section in this we'll, 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 see get, we'll get into the command line of the ASA. Of course we'll see what is firewall and many other concepts relating to firewalls. And our focus will be mainly on Cisco ASA firewalls. And also we'll, we'll also see some zone based firewall feature which can be enabled on Cisco routers to, to get some uh, benefits of the firewall as well. And then some basic IPS ideas fundamentals. And finally in the last section you'll be focusing on understanding the email based security threats and how we can uh, prevent them by using some ESA, email security appliance from Cisco and understanding the web-based threats and securing the web, web-based attacks uh, from, by using a WSA. And also some basic overview on endpoint security like antivirus and other programs. So as for the Cisco, this is a general, uh, general order or the format. Uh, but again, this is not very much in-depth or details, we can say. But if you get into my code, probably I have my own way of defining the sections, like I said, different sections here uh, how much what is the percentage they cover you can actually go through the go to the site I have added that in the course description here the VPN the same thing what I discussed just now and the target audience and then if you go to the contents here probably you'll see some more details on the contents here so the section one is like a course overview this is like network security concepts majorly deals with uh, understanding some of the basic uh, network terminologies and the thread types. You can see the headings here. And of course, if you get into the other options like common security attacks, uh, which, which covers majorly on understanding the different types of attacks and what are the mitigations uh, like social engineering attacks. There are different types of attacks, so more like a theoretical topic. And then we need to also know some basic uh, concepts of lot, what is virus, worms and trojans and hacking and then some some malware services again th these are like more common terminology used uh, used in the common security network security it's not specific to cisco and then some overview of what are the threat defense technologies we'll be using uh, to prevent those things so the basic overview again uh, this is not like a in detail 
but basically like what is AAA and what are the services we enable, what is the advantage of that, the basic overview, what is VPNs and other stuff. But probably more on this, you will have more uh, detail, uh, separate sections covered later on classes. And then understanding the basic setup. So there are a few more lectures to be added here, like uh, here, what understanding the different lab options and then the setup and virtualizing the labs by using GNS3 and how to integrate uh, your VMware to run some ASA or IVSV devices. So probably the steps, uh, mainly referring to GNS3 documentations. And then understanding network infrastructure and protection and different planes. And of course, some more options like uh, securing the management plane, how we can access devices remotely. The contents will be added soon. You see, there are almost 27 sections what I covered. AAA concepts and then AAA uh, remote administration uh, by using by using some TechAx servers, basic, basic TechAx. And then authorization by using the local database, like how we can restrict the users, what commands they can execute, something like that. And you'll see more sections like Cisco telemetry services, enabling some services like uh, NTP or syslogs, those kind of services. The control plane security deals with routing protocol authentications and how we can protect the control plane. And again, there are two sections more. Again, you can see there are zero lectures actually, but uh, this is actually, I'm, I'm just uploading the contents, probably will be ready in the next couple of days. But the sections has been added like these are the individual topics what we'll be covering in the layer two security, the basic security and then advanced security implementations. And most of the labs are not really required at the NS security exams, but I have covered some labs as well, uh, probably to, to practically verify these concepts. But most of the practical implementations, you will see the NP level. Like this course is not uh, just covers the CCNS security exams, but in the real world, how these technologies will be used. And, and also with, with some practical basic implementation labs for you to understand how, this, how the exactly the output looks and how we can mitigate that. How, once, once you stop that, then what kind of messages you'll see. And you can see these these sections like firewalls section is is a common terminology used for all the different firewalls, and then we'll be seeing some Cisco ASA firewalls, and then managing the Cisco ASA firewalls basic configurations, and then basic configuration on ASA ACLs, and also implementing NAT on the ASA firewalls, implementing zone-based firewalls, uh, Cisco IBS feature on enabling uh, firewall features on the Cisco IBS routers. And then basic concepts of cryptography, like what is encryption, what is hashing and the keys and some some overview on the public infrastructure like digital certificates. The basic overview, more theoretical topic. The VPN foundations, what are exactly VPNs and what are the different types of VPNs? Um, more like a basic foundation on the VPN topics. But here we'll be covering, uh, there, are, there are many types of VPNs I can say. But here our focus will be on the basic IP si IPsec site-to-site -site VPNs and then different phases and the configuration examples. And then in the remote access VPNs, we'll be focusing on SSL VPNs, overview on that, and then IPS, IDS concepts, like what are the different options. And then finally, uh, we'll be seeing something about email security appliances. What are the different threats in the email, web-based attacks or email-based attacks and then Cisco solutions of uh, providing uh, web security appliance and email security appliances. As, as you can see, I have plenty of other courses. Uh, I do have a courses you can see. So probably uh, these are the number of students currently using my courses. So I already released my different courses on CC and a routing switching to CCIEs, routing switching tracks. So probably on the security, this is my first course. So as, as in the future, I have plans to add some more courses on the security like relating to uh, CCA NP security papers.